Can you help us understand what virtue signaling is and how white people can avoid it? This was an interesting one for you and I, Carrie, because neither one of us were really familiar with that term, virtue signaling. So <laughs> I looked up a definition because I didn't want to murder it and I did want to be helpful. And so the definition that made most sense to me was virtue signaling is the sharing of one's viewpoint on a social or political issue, often over social media, in order to garner praise or acknowledgement of one's righteousness from others who share that point of view or to rebuke those who do not share that point of view. So in layman's terms, what <laughs> I came to understand about virtue signaling is it's ultimately like making empty promises or sentiments that just make you look good rather than actually taking action. So if this was your question, or if this is of interest to you to talk about what is virtue signaling when it comes to racism, I would just say, check your heart, right? Like if you are sharing things over social media because you truly want people to be influenced in a positive direction, great, right? You don't have to worry about what other people perceive that to be. You know where you're coming from and you're truly trying to make change happen through a platform that we have where we can share. Um, but if you are making empty promises or if you're just kind of putting something out there to make yourself look good when it comes to this racist um, topic, right? Like this topic that's so front of mind right now, then, you know, check yourself. Don't share something if it doesn't feel genuine and authentic to your journey. But if it does feel genuine, authentic, and you've researched it or you've learned something and you hope to share that to change someone else's viewpoint or to help someone's journey, then great. Don't worry about virtue signaling. Share away. So that's my viewpoint. Tell me a little bit more. What do you think about virtue signaling, Carrie? Yeah, I think that only you know if you're virtue signaling or not. Um, Kyle and I were talking about this earlier and I was like, oh, I just shared um, a really, really cute um, and powerful like gift animation on Facebook um, with all these different couples kissing, same sex couples, different races, like just all kinds of different things just in honor of the ruling for, um, for gay rights recently. So um, actually just this week, but I'm like, I didn't do it for virtue signaling. I did it because like, this is something I believe in. And I thought that it was an awesome way to just continue like supporting the cause mm -hmm. um, through you know, just my own self-expression. Um, but if you're doing it, like Kyle said, just for the sake of doing something, um, especially that like kind of desperate, like I need to do something. What can I do? Okay, share this. Like, well, is there something more meaningful that you could do? How can you explore what you can do um, and what might be more authentic and even more impactful? Even if that's in your small circle, that's okay. You don't have to run for office. It doesn't have to be this grandiose gesture, but it does need to be authentic and it does need to be um, feel impactful um, for you and for the people around you that, you know, that you're working within and that you're expressing these different um, ideas and, you know, sentiments towards. You reminded me of something actually, Carrie. So a perfect example in my life when it comes, and mind you, Carrie and I did not know what virtue signaling was before. <laughs> so we're adventuring through this together. Um, but a good example was, I remember the day that everyone, I think they call it Blackout Tuesday maybe, mm -hmm. where the day where everyone started posting black squares on social media. And I wasn't even on social so that day, so I wasn't aware that it was happening, but the woman who, um, oh, Shelby, who you may have interacted with, who runs my social media for my business, she had asked, like, do you want to participate in this? And I was really glad she asked because I, it gave me pause, like, do I? Right? I had time to stop and ask myself, like, is that something I want to participate in? Does it make sense to me? Is this a very meaningful action? And my biggest question was, what does that mean? Like, what's our follow up to sharing that black image, right? That black square image, like, okay, but then what? And because I didn't have a good enough answer at that point, because Shelby and I were like, well, we're not exactly sure what that means for my business. We did not go that route because I didn't want it to be an empty, like, oh, I'm just doing this for the sake of doing this. So that was a really good example, even not knowing virtual signaling. Um, Using that. Yeah. Nature, right? like, give yourself some pause, ask the questions of why you're participating in something or saying something and sharing, like Carrie said, 
and then make your determination um, based on what your answers are to your problem. So. Exactly.